another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. We're going to cover the fire of the week. This week, it's a shocker, um, just as his upset victory was over Ota Jones. Jorge Castaneda from Laredo, Texas. Shout out um, to Laredo, Texas. Great boxing community there. Uh, we're going to get into that. But first, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, there's also a link. Which I'm going to upload this to both. Um, there's also there's a um, link for Texas Boxing Scene. I'm going to put that in there. And there's also a link to TACA, which is the Autism Community in Action. It is National Autism Month. Uh, TACA, T-A-C-A, the Autism Community in Action, is a charity that's near and dear to our heart. All proceeds from the Texas Boxing Scene channel uh, goes to TACA. So that is a brand new channel. Please get that up to 1,000. Like and subscribe as quickly and share as much as you can. Uh, but let's get into today's show. Jorge Castaneda pulled a tremendous upset over uh, Otha Jones III. Um, Otha Jones III was one of the highly touted prospects. Um, he was supposed to... Uh, he was kind of, you know, Eddie's big crown jewel signing. Um, and he had a draw earlier, and now he took an L. And he got beat up in the second half of the fight with Jorge Castaneda. Um, Otha Jones was an old world prospect, great amateur, great fight family. His dad is a great trainer. Um, it's just not really coming together. It's not really... Jorge Castaneda beat him up, and, and, and we're going to get into two things. First, Jorge, uh, Jorge Castaneda won that fight. Clearly, I thought the scorecards were, were a little too tight. I thought 6-2 was probably the right scorecards, and then you had 4, four and 5-3. Um, but Castaneda outboxed him. He outjabbed him. You know, the first two rounds were um, close, right? It were a battle of the jabs, which Castaneda was in. Um, I thought he won the second and lost the first, but they were even-ish rounds. Um, and the third he came through, and, and the left hook he was landing was absolutely money. Um, his left hook was money all day. Um, and then he had this chopping right hand, right? And, and, and you could see, it wasn't in the third round. Well, he hurt him badly in the third round and poured the shots on. But it was later, I, I think I, he, uh, in the fourth round, Otha bounced back nice, and the fifth was competitive again. And then six, seven, and eight, Jorge Castaneda just steamrolled him. He almost stopped him in the eighth. I think it was in the sixth round where he hit him with another left hook to the body. And you can see that uh, Otha Jones just didn't like it. He didn't like the power. Um, you know, Castaneda's a 5'10", super featherweight. He's big. He's strong. He's a bully at that size. And he's got good skills. His footwork is vastly improved. Um, Castaneda has been on TV twice before. With mixed results, um, he, he took a loss to Randy Moreno on a Roy Jones card a couple of years ago, 2018, I want to say. Um, and and I, I don't think that loss is bad because I, I think Randy Moreno is actually, he's just got bad luck. You, know, you can go back and look at Randy Moreno. He's got two losses. One was on a Roy Jones card, uh, which he got headbutted. Um, and, and they called it a cut and stop the fight, which was clearly a headbutt in a fight that he was dominating. So uh, Moreno's record doesn't look spectacular, but he's a spectacular fighter. I, I hope Randy Moreno the best. I think he's tremendous. I want to see him back in the ring. Um, and he got another, um, Randy had another loss earlier, which he got knocked down, clean knockdown, but he gets right up on phase, you know, flash knocked down, the ref unexplicably waves it off in the fight that he was winning. Um, so he's got two losses, and both are head scratching because he was winning both fights. But either way, um, that's the guy that beat Jorge Castaneda. That's not a bad loss. And then Jorge Castaneda on a Roy Jones card um, that was televised on BN Sports beat up uh, Floyd Mayweather, a money team pro uh, prospect from Mexico. Um, so those were the two times that we had seen him before. Mixed results. Um, he's vastly improved. His footwork was a mess. Now it's really good. You know, he was jabbing well. He was moving, pivoting well. Firing off combinations. Like I said, the left hook was money. He could not miss with the left hook. But even when it when Otha purely went on the defensive and just tried to out-jab him, 
Castaneda was in the battle of the jabs with him. And I, I think that surprised him. You know, Otha Jones, obviously the quicker fighter, the more athletic fighter, wasn't winning the jab. He wasn't winning when he was moving. And he certainly wasn't winning when they were scrapping. <clears throat> so, you know, Castaneda is multifaceted. So where he goes from here is interesting. Uh, because there's a lot of good talent in the 103-hand division, right? Just the level ahead. You got Chris Colbert. You have Shakur Stevenson, who are kind of class act of the young guys. But you guys like Joe Cordina, right, who, who, who fits in nicely there. I'd like to see him fight a guy like that next. I really would. Uh, Ronnie Rios, something like that. You know, have him fight um, somebody good, somebody tough, right? Um but someone who he would have a chance to beat. Look, Castaneda is 14-1 and one now. He's got 11 knockouts, I want to say. He's a strong kid with with good pop, and he's fundamentally getting a lot better. He's, he's from Laredo, which is putting out a lot of young prospects. Um, if you go to the Texas boxing scene, I'm going to put a link in there. If you can look up Jaime Hasso, uh, Josh Juarez, like there's good fighters coming out of that area. And, and, and Castaneda and Jorge Ramos, um, who's on the ESPN card uh, in the bubble, um, there's good fighters coming out of that area right now. And Castaneda is kind of the, 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 the crown jewel of that. Uh, Josh Wars is really good too. And then now Jaime Haas has got two pro fights, but he looks tremendous. He's beaten two experienced fighters in his two fights. Uh, but Laredo, Gateway City, is, is on the move. Like, they're putting out fighters. You know, that, that could be a hotbed. And, and Castaneda, um, the kind of Zellas brothers are from there. Orlando and, Ga and uh, Gabby are from Laredo, which is, you go to Laredo, it's, a city basically dedicated to boxing and dedicated to Gonzalez Brothers. Um, but it's a great fight team. It's a great fight city. I, I love the Valley. I love Laredo. Um, I'm going to be down there soon. But Castaneda's got a future. Um, and I'm hoping he gets in a big fight. Um, you know, it, it just make the most of it. you got to go in as an opponent. you got to go in as an opponent. But I, I, I don't know why these um, big promoters or even the mid-level promoters wouldn't want to run with this guy. And give him, you know, why would Golden Boy not want him? I don't, I don't know. Top rank might want him, right? Matchroom might want him because he matches up well with some of their fighters. I, I think Golden Boy makes the most sense. I really do. But top rank makes a lot of sense. So I, I you know, I, this is a kid that needs to get signed. And need, we need to see him again. Even if you want to bring him in again, bring him in. Use him as a point. If he wins again, you know, it's like okay, you know, this kid can keep doing it. Uh, but there's a tremendous amount of talent in, 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 in Jorge Castaneda. If you haven't seen him before, go check him out. I'm going to put a link um, to the fight with Ota Jones in the description. There's going to be a link to the fight. There's going to be a link to Texas boxing scene. And there's going to be a link to Taco. Please check them all out and share all of them. If you guys haven't seen the fight, if you're not familiar with Jorge Castaneda, uh, you're going to be impressed. The kid is a combo with fighter with good skills. Good skills. He's fundamentally sound. Um, he moves his head better. His footwork is better. Like he's come a long way. Uh, he's just 24 years old. He's a kid with a future. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. 3D boxing, 3D boxing blog. Connect you twice a day with quick hits, which is eight to ten minutes a day. Keep you up uh, the latest on uh, boxing news and rumors. Um, it is what day is it? it oh, it's April 20th. It's 4:20. Ivan Calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame. Let's make that change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.